here. See if this is going to work. Let me know if you can hear me yet. Today is the 10th. Huh. Oh, there it is. <laughs> weird. Really weird. Anyway, <laughs> here I am. I don't know why it wasn't working on my end well, over here until I closed it out and came back on. Anyway, hello everybody. I am here. Teresa Louise, thank you for coming. Welcome to my sewing room. <laughs> so glad you could be here. Let's see who we have. Oops, dang it. I'm all fingers today. So how's everyone doing? Hi, Kim. How you doing? Good afternoon. Hello, Courtney. How are you? Hi, Zach. Hi, Paula. Hello, Donna. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Melina. How are you? Hi, Tammy. Hi, Laura. Hi, Kathy. Hi, Patty. Hi, Joe. Hi, Karen. Hi, BJ. Hi, Lo, Melissa. Hi, Linda. Hi, Vivian. Thank you for the thumbs up. Awesome. Are you guys ready to do this project today? Hi, Amy. So glad you could all join me today. Um, I noticed that there was like seven or eight of you waiting. So I'm guessing you guys got my notification, which is great. <laughs> I actually scheduled a video. Aren't you proud of me? Laura has her fabrics mostly cut. Great. Hi, Gay. How are you doing? Hi, Polly. Well, we have we have crazy weather today. We woke up to three inches of snow on the ground. And then it said more snow today. And it's been sunny, then a blizzard, and then sunny, and then a blizzard. <laughs> Just... It's a crazy day. Very crazy day. Um, was she live, Melissa? I didn't see that. Everybody's saying hi to each other. Hi, Shelly. Oh, Erica is going on a trip around the world on her live today. Oh, wow. Hi, Lorraine. How are you doing? Hi, Lynn. How are you? Oh, that's a quilt. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she was working on her quilt that's called a trip around the world <laughs> okay thank you cindy i appreciate it hi don how are you doing oh you and jack are on a date that is fun <laughs> yeah i've been on quite a few dates with jack not to my pleasure either. So, who's going to do the French door? Uh-oh, who's that? My door just, as soon as I said French door, my door opened. 
Ooh. Willa, was that you? Did you sneak in? It was Willa. You always um, scare everybody when you do that. Yeah. So funny, she's got this mouth, the way her mouth is shaped, it always looks like she's smiling. People are saying hello to Willa. Yeah, it looked like a ghost, huh, Tammy? Hi, Tammy. BJ says hi. Melissa says hi. You got your lip all curled up there like you're smiling. Are you smiling? You know, um, something I forgot to do was load uh, bobbin, so I'm going to have to do that. Courtney says hello. Kim says hello. Yeah. I bet Zach says hello. Yep, Zach says hello. Zach says, um, Zach says hello, Willa May. Yeah. Okay. So, so, how is everybody today? What have you guys been doing? Tell me, tell me. <laughs> Anybody been doing any sewing? I woke up again at 4.30 this morning, and um, Courtney was on. <laughs> That's Pieces, Love, and Quilting. So I watched her for a little while and fell asleep. She's working on her elephant quilt. If you haven't seen that, you got to go over and check that out. It's really cool. I, I think I'm going to have to get that pattern. It's a, a paper piecing pattern. Oh, darn. Dawn won't get to watch. She'll be at work. Well, luckily, there's the replay. Hi, Tiffany. How are you doing? Been trying to nap, but it's not happening. Oh, no. Well, maybe I'll put you to sleep. I'll try not to yell. I tried. I took a nap right before I came on, and um, which was like a 30-minute nap. And that's just not enough. I got to have at least an hour. So when my alarm clock went off, I was like, not already. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. Hi, Teresa. Yep. You just worked on the elephant. How are you doing? Hi, Trish. Um, she's finishing up a basket wall hanging. It required four... 42 inch half square triangles. <laughs> now I'm down to the mitered corners. Oh boy. Oh no. <laughs> that sounds like fun. <laughs> Amy was sewing earlier. At the moment, I'm sorting medical stuff for taxes. Ew, yuck. That's not fun either. That is not fun at all. Okay, I was going to wait about, yeah, it's about 10 after. And we have 41 people. Yay. Laura quilted a scrap quilt and a table topper today. Awesome. You get a lot done, Laura. I think you get it as much, if not more, done than Tiffany does. <laughs> uh, that's right. I heard that, Kim. Um, Kim sewed long enough to help her grandson make his first block. How exciting. BJ's going through single layer cakes packs to make a layer cake shuffle quilt. From the Fat Quarter Shop. Cool. Hi, Colleen. Colleen is making dinner and sewing. You hear me? <laughs> okay, great. Are you... Um, uh, make sure you're live. You might be behind. Because I haven't asked that question in a while. <laughs> I should type that in there. She might she might see it. Hi, Liz. How are you doing? Liz is sitting here 
trying to compile a purchase list for when I go to Missouri Star Quilt next month. Oh, awesome. That would be a fun uh, list to make. Uh, Larray is trying to decide what to do. I need to sew on her slime bear or knit a baby blanket or cross stitch or quilt label or keep being lazy. Hmm. <laughs> well, which one has been sitting around the longest? And I would say, if you want to just sit back and relax and have a cup of tea or coffee or whatever, um, cross stitch would be fun. That's what I would be doing. Hello, Wendy. Hi, Laura. Cindy says, 71 degrees and sunny here in Tennessee, so I mowed the grass. <laughs> now I'm sitting, resting, and watching. Awesome. Yeah, I would be mowing snow because we have like about four inches out there now. Laura said, I could never keep up with Tiffany, but she's definitely a mentor for me. She inspires me to, to use my scraps. <laughs> and I've been blasting with them, having a blast with them. Yeah. Tiffany's a good scrap buster, that's for sure. Hi, Linda. Yep, you're on time. Oh, Lorraine said she's been sitting around the longest. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Judy. Hi, Judy. Windy Sunny from Maryland. So I see another panel hanging. So what are you going to do with this project? Um, this project is going to be the one that I've been talking about for a couple of days. Um, it's called the French Door, Donna's French Door. It's um, going to be a take on Donna's, um, Donna Jordan's uh, video of the French Door that she did. So it's going to have white, it already looks like it has white sashing in it, but it doesn't. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Another panel. I'm I'm going to bust these panels out this year, boy. So if you want to join in, anybody is welcome. Grab a panel um, and get ready to get it cut up. And you'll also need some white or whatever color you want. But it keep in mind it's supposed to look like a French door or or maybe even a French window. But um, I'm not going to make mine exactly like she did in her video, but I will be using white. And you need one inch strips for that. Okay, let's see what else. Kim says it's 78 here in uh, Missouri. Beautiful, clear skies, but severe weather moving in on Tuesday. That's not good. Courtney has 72 in Kansas. Laura said it's another beautiful day down there. Melissa said she always goes by what she can finish the fastest. Okay, I think I'm at the bottom. A good idea, finish projects. Yep. Uh, Laura said, it's sunny with a few clouds, 65 here in Arizona. I love spring. I love spring, too. <laughs> spring and half of summer before it gets to late August. <laughs> Tiffany has 81, but super windy. Mary. Hi, Mary. 45 and raining in Oregon. What part of Oregon? I used to live in Oregon. 
For a lot of years, I lived in Oregon. Linda said, I really do not like going on a date with Jack. I know, it sucks. Um, 79 here in North Arkansas, but severe storms tonight, says Gay. Uh, Tammy said there's a wide range of temperatures in Arizona. It's 90 where she's at. Hi, Marie. How are you doing? Salem. Okay. I lived in Eastern over by Baker City. But I did live over by Spring, uh, Springfield, over by Eugene, for about a year one time. I didn't like it over there at all. It was too wet. <laughs> Too rainy for me. Okay, I'm going to get started. First thing, let's go ahead and clean the sewing machine. <laughs> if you belong to the Facebook group, you would have read my message saying it's time to clean the sewing machine, and I didn't even do it. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to do that real quick. I'll just gonna turn the camera a little bit and pull my bobbin out. I was gonna come up and um, load some bobbins, but I took a nap instead. So. Um, for now, the video that we did yesterday, I took it off um, because of uh, my potty mouth. <laughs> I mean, I know I didn't say it out loud, but I, and everybody knows what I was saying. And, yeah, you know, I don't want to end offend anybody by saying that not not that anybody said anything but um, I felt kind of bad about it uh, that's just not normally me but when I do get upset I do tend to say that word <laughs> my husband doesn't like it when I use that word at all but um, so I might just leave that one off so if anybody was looking for it, it's not there. I put it in the unlist. So I apologize if I offended anybody yesterday. I didn't mean to. Um, and that's all I have to say about that. So... Uh, just to let you know, I did take some vitamin D today, so maybe I won't be so <laughs> out there. Oops. Hi, Heather. Hi, Nita. How are you doing? Let's see. I do not want to use brown, so I think I am going to have to make some bobbins. Dang it. I don't, I don't know if I have any white. Yeah, I do have one white. It's got a little bit on there. Yeah, I can use these three. But I'm going to keep running out all the time. So, I don't think I want to do that. I think I'm going to just go ahead... Normally, I would go ahead and use these, but I don't really want to run out. So, I have gray thread on here, so I'm going to take that off too, because I'm going to be doing white sashing. And so... All right, well, I was hoping some people would have uh, been ready to do this project with me. 
seemed like there was a lot of people that wanted to do it yesterday so but that's all right you'll have the video if you ever want to do it but my plan is um hopefully i get this whole project done today and then next sunday i'm going to free motion quilt it and we will do a video on you know talk about oh i don't want to do that yet uh willa honey you're gonna have to move you're gonna have to move can you go get on your bed please thank you i don't know why you keep laying there <laughs> you know you're always gonna have to move okay let's see who we got I need I should have done a little better job cleaning that, but that's all right. But I do want to put a new needle on there because um, I can hear the needle. Um, put that down just a little bit. I can hear the needle ticking, tick, tick, ticking on the fabric. Okay, let's see who else we got. Yeah, I use a paintbrush too. Yep. And I use that on my long arm too. It's really handy. Um, get this off of there. Okay. Up there a little bit so I'll read the comments in just a minute let me get started Oh, hope, hope this isn't too loud. I'll kind of make it go slow so it's not too loud. Heather said, Teresa said, nobody cares about the little potty mouth slip up. <laughs> it happens. And we love you anyway. Well, thank you, Heather. I appreciate that. Melissa said, I worked in a prison. I don't even recognize most curse words. <laughs> Kim totally agrees. Well, I was kind of worried I would get some... Um, I might put it back on where it's just private, and that way only the people that subscribe to the channel can watch it. I just didn't want comments in the comment section, you know, about it. <laughs> Don said, if you all heard my mouth, yikes. <laughs> Hi, Brenda. Hi, Nelly. How are you doing? I don't think I've seen Nelly here before, have I? If not, if if I have, it's been a while. Um. Yes, I did see the farm, and you have the panel, Brenda. I saw that, and I was gonna go look through my stash, but I didn't have time. But um, I was glad you sent that picture to me because I think I do have a couple of those fabrics. Hi, Vicki. How are you doing? Hi, June. I know, um, Courtney. Willa just wants to be by me. I know that.
I'm just going to kind of skip the stuff that you guys are talking back and forth with each other too. Okay, there's the bobbin. And I'm just going to, it's just a cream color. My typical color I like to use when I'm got white. And I check my bob intention like that every now and then. Um, especially when I change the weight of the bobbin thread. If I go from like, four, even if I go from 40 to 50, I, I check it. All right, now I need to put a needle on. <laughs> Kim said the panel I want to use is a big Christmas Santa, and I definitely want to use black. Yeah, you probably would. Okay, I'm going to use a 9014 needle only because I think that's all I have. <laughs> Jeez, I really got to go sh really need to go shopping I know I can just go online but and it is cheaper to just buy your needles online and I'm gonna oil this too the only thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna take the plate off and clean under it I'll wait to do that um, what would I do with that? I don't know about you guys, but my two different machines, um, the needles go in different way. On, uh, on the Brothers, the flat side faces the inside. But on my Viking, the flat side faces forward. So when I take a needle out of either sewing machine, I always have to watch uh, very carefully. And hopefully I remember what I saw, right? Otherwise I get confused. Okay, I gotta put the foot up. Can't thread it with the foot down. this going and then I'll read the comments and um, hopefully now this needle work oh I gotta fix the there. Um, yeah see now that needle worked just fine so this other brand of needles that I bought the the brothers machine doesn't like it I don't know if you guys remember when I was having all that problems with that needle getting it to thread because usually this machine the threader on it works great and I don't have any problems with it okay that looks good I always like to test it first it's better to fix problems right now Yeah, I would want black, too. You don't have any black? <laughs> Tiffany said, eh, um, non-camera mouth is bad. My mouth sometimes needs work. <laughs> well, it'd been different if I said the S word. Uh, Teresa Lynch says, I got a sailor's mouth. I used to. When I, especially when I worked outside and I would get, you know, <laughs> when I work with something, I hurt myself. I'll say, a, I'll say a bad word. Yeah, you must have missed it, Laura.
but she said she wouldn't have been offended. Nita says, my mother used to curse like a sailor. I was raised with the potty mouth. <laughs> and Kim was married to a Marine for 30 years, right? Okay, you guys, thank you. Uh, we are making, uh, Nita, we are making the uh, Donna Jordan's French door. Um, wall hanging, but with some slight modifications. So it's gonna it's gonna look like you know like a French door with the white strips down the panel. Hi, Patty. Patty C, how are you doing? Hi, Marla, how are you? <laughs> That's true, Patty. It does happen. Uh, Laura said, yes, she has four machines and only two of them thread the needle the same. Well, thank you for your service, Wendy. <laughs> Lorraine said, my mother doesn't like the phrase cuss like a sailor because her dad was in the Navy. And I've never heard a curse word out of his mouth <laughs> with a laugh. <laughs> oh, I should have got it closer. Well, let me show you real quick, Laura. Let me bring the... Okay, I'm going to move the camera. Everybody get ready. It's super easy. See if I can get close enough. Super easy. I'll take the thread out. Um, the first thing I do is I hold on to the thread here and I push the um, thread cutter because that lines everything up. Okay. Then I put the, I get, have a little bit of thread out there, you know, about eight inches or so and then I put the feed dogs down and that way it stays nice and tight then I hold on to it with my left hand and then I take the the thing that pushes the the thread down the threader yeah that's the word and I put it on the right side of the little knob that's on the threader there's a little knob right there on the bottom of the threader and I put it on the right side of that. And as I'm going down, I bring my thread up and around. And then I hold the thread tight over here to the far side. Then I'm still holding the thread tight so nothing slips. And because I have the feed dogs down, everything's nice and tight. Then I, I have the threader all the way down to the bottom here. And then it just slides in to the needle and make sure your needle is all the way up. Okay, and then you take this thread and you take it back, back behind or back alongside of the foot and then bring it up a little bit like this. Raise it all the way up as far as you can and then pull and that'll pull the thread into the hole of the needle. Then because it always falls out. I hold my finger right there on the hole of the needle so that the thread doesn't come back out and then I let go and then I can pull my thread through. I'll try and do a video that's a little closer but and then there you go. Hopefully that helps you a little bit. Oops, I'll move you 
over here. Should have warned you a little bit more. Is that too bright? Oh, Marla has a four-year-old granddaughter over her house almost every day, so she's got to watch her mouth. And, and that's why I uh, whispered it. <laughs> no sound actually came out of my mouth. Although, if you can read lips, I'm sure you knew what I said. Oh, great, Patty C. I'm glad you're going to watch and relax. Uh, Marla had a really good time at her retreat last weekend, and she's ready to sign up for the next one. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Hi, Kay. How are you doing? I'm glad you're here. I've been kind of waiting for you. Are you, um, do you have your stuff ready? Hi, Lisa. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Carissa. Hi, Linda P. Um, Parsons. Oh, I, hey, I hit the bottom. Oh, good. Laura says, yes, yeah, she showed me some tips I never knew. Oh, Kay's um, driving home right now. Okay. Well, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. I'm surprised I'm at the bottom of the chat. I did pretty good there. Oh, no. Lorraine said she bent her needle threader. That sucks. Hi, um, JB. How's it going? Carissa is making some flying geese and listening. Oh, <laughs> Kay said, well, I'm not driving. So you can watch. Awesome. I'm, I'm glad you're not watching and driving. I would be worried about you. Okay. Um, all right, so that's ready. Okay, let's talk about the panel. Now I'm going to have to move the camera again. I'm sorry, guys. Ready? Here we go. Okay, I didn't actually, I didn't, I didn't actually print the pattern off. Um, I just went over and watched the video and got a general idea of what I needed to do because that's how I fly. Um, I don't know if you know this about me, but almost every pattern I do, I change it. <laughs> no, not almost. All of the patterns that I do, I change it somehow. Um, so I, I just kind of like to get the general idea, and then I make myself a bunch of notes. So that's what I've done. But in general, um, you'll want a panel, okay? And... Make it a long one, and it's going to be a wall hanging, so unless you want to add borders to it and make it a lap size quilt or something like that, that's totally up to you. You don't, it doesn't have to be a wall hanging, but I thought this panel with the little doggies that I showed you yesterday would be a really cute uh, wall hanging, either on the outside of my door coming into the house or um, in the laundry room. And um, since this is a dog's house, you know, I just thought it would be really cute. And I can't bring it over here to show you because I've already cut it up, okay? Um, so basically, what you're going to do is trim up your panel and um, you're going to want to trim it on both sides and top and bottom. And I'll go ahead and bring it over here because I'm going to have to anyway. And then I'll point the camera down so you can see what I'm talking about. And I starched and ironed my panel. I used a lot of starch on my panel. I can smell it even. Whew. And 
I wasn't sure how much <coughs> white fabric I was going to need and I just went ahead and cut a yard off of the bolt that I had and so I could start with that and you know I figure I can put it back so no big deal. All right, let's see if I can point you down here. Get you a little view. Maybe move you back a little bit more. Okay, so the first thing I did was I trimmed up the sides. And I knew that I wanted two cut marks down the middle and then two... Uh, the width ways if I can even talk okay so my this panel came out to be 24 so I divided 24 by 3 because I'm going to get three pieces not three cuts but three pieces so 24 divided by 3 is 8 so I cut each strip eight inches okay and then the panel was 32 long now I should have gone and cut that down to like 30 like I, I could have cut these off and and um, because I knew I was going to have to divide it by three um, and if I would have cut it down to 30 then it would have been 10 inches but I didn't do that so it came out to 10 point, uh, 10 so I just did 10 and 5 eighths so I cut this here by 10 and 5 eighths so now I have each block I'm going to call these blocks now that I got them cut because that's kind of what they are each block is now 8 by 10 and 5 eighths okay so that's going to make it a little difficult <laughs> when I go to cut my my stashing my sashing and um, but not that hard. I'm just going to have to be. So what we're going to do now in Donna's video, she puts the small one inch. Your sashing strips are one inch. So they're pretty small. So when you sew these together, um, you're going to need to be really careful with your quarter inch stitch because um, how thin they are, any mess ups, you know, like if you s slide in with your sewing, you'll really be able to see that because, because of how small it is. It's, or it's not very wide. I guess I should say. Um, now Donna in her video she puts a one inch strip here, here, and here, and here, and then she puts a long one down the middle of each one. I'm going to do that similar but I'm not going to put the wide the one inch on these sides because I want a three inch border I want mine to be a little bit bigger, a three inch. So I'm going to do a three inch border here. Okay, then are there any questions before I go any further? <laughs> I'll just stop there. See if anybody else is here. says patterns feel like rules to me I want to change them to suit me exactly no Chris it's not weird you don't have to use it she doesn't use her auto threader So what you could do, hi Mary Jane, how are you doing? Hi Melester, how are you doing? OK, 
Kay is going to do the little sashing all around and then do another wider one. Okay. See if there, I'm just going to scroll back and see if there's any comments for me. Remember, if you want to get my attention, either um, tag me or write your whole comment out in capitals. Wendy said, I do that, Teresa Louise. I try to make each one my own and use the pattern basically as a gu guide. Exactly. Bye, Mary. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Okay. All right. That's it. I don't see anything else. Okay. So let's get to sewing, shall we? I'm going to put this book over here. I don't think I need it anymore. Um, so you can go ahead and cut your strips if you want to. I'm going to cut the salvage off. And then I'm just going to sew them on. And then cut it. I know you shouldn't do it that way, but <laughs> that's the way I'm going to do it. Mainly because I took all the room up on my board here. I should slide these down a little bit, maybe. Give myself a little more room. I just want to make sure I keep them in the right order. <laughs> That'll give me a little room to cut. There. Now you can kind of see me. <laughs> All right. So. This one is going to go over here. <laughs> Lisa said, Teresa Louise, you rebel. <laughs> I know I am. I'm a rebel. Always have been. I was the kind of the black sheep of the family. I mean, I love my family dearly. But I kind of went on my my own direction. All right, here we go. Those are lined up. Okay, then I'll go ahead and cut that off. Hi, Brand Brandy. How are you doing? Vicki, you brat. <laughs> she said her homemade Reese's bars are so good. I bet. I love Reese's. 
Those are my favorite. Okay, I better warm up the iron. And I will just go ahead and finger press that. Yeah, these little sashings are not going to be very big at all, a half an inch. It did kind of bum me out that I cut off some of the dog's faces, but there wasn't, wasn't much I could do about that. Okay, this one goes. YouTube Reese's Bars. Thank you, Kay. Don't forget about thumbs up. Thank you very much. Tiffany says she's still here but playing with the side project. Yeah, Vicki, feel free to pass those on down. <laughs> Well, you better get to sleep, Brandy. Wouldn't, wouldn't want you to be too tired to go to work. Or too tired at work. Okay, I have a little game for you guys. In the comments, type your middle name in alphabetical order and we'll see if we can guess what your middle name is. <laughs> type your middle name in alphabetical order and we'll see if we can figure out what your middle name is. I'm not going to be able to play because you all know my middle name is Louise. <laughs> Which, if you didn't know, is my mother's name. Okay, there's that one. Turn this one up. I went a little over. Hi, Linda Dollar. Hi, Chris. It's funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ugh. Darn phone. <laughs> that one's easy, Laura. Laura Ann. <laughs> Yours is easy too, Mary. Mary Jane. And of course, Lois Dawn. We are, know that one already. Um, well, 
only 14 thumbs up come on you guys how many we got watching i think we have 80 people watching there should be more than uh it says 54 thumbs up on my thing thank you for the thumbs up hi brenda we're playing a game <laughs> yep i see uh i see 62 now thank you all right wendy is ann now who wants to guess them <laughs> i went down i'm down to k so kim i'll pick kim can you guess what the purple wall her first name is k can you guess what her name is her middle name is okay i'm gonna hand press these Hi, Trish. Thank you for the thumbs up, Trish. I think I said hi to you already. <laughs> Could be a different Trish, though. Oh, I had a, a different, another game for you guys, too. This one will be funner. Colleen is Florence. Rose. Nita said that Kay's middle name is Rose. Oh, I see. Kim said it too. Okay. I'm on top chat. What in the heck? Um, Tiffany said hers is easy. Ooh. I want to see somebody do Pamela's. Is it Christine? <laughs> Something like that. Okay. Catherine Rose. Kathy says we'll never guess hers. Where was I at? I was at, okay. We got Anne. Heather is, somebody can guess Heather's. Because <laughs> I gotta keep sewing. Unless somebody already did. I can, I can guess the easy ones like Marla. I gotta do the one up here. So I'm just gonna keep going. I have to find that book. I have a really good book of a book that has some good things in it for a plan. So I can get that lined up on there. I'll be doing good. Um, Tiffany, what are you doing on your Sunday? <clears throat> your Sunday video. Melissa said she got everyone's but Tiffany's. Melissa said no one will guess mine. Let's go, Melissa. Uh, it's probably Melissa. 
Melissa is probably not your first name. I didn't even go and look, and that's my guess. Uh-oh, I left that one over there. I better grab it before... Before they get out of line, that would be funny. How are you doing today, Brenda? Yeah, they just, some parents just give you what sounds good. Or somebody who's a relative. But I'm, I'm glad my mom gave me her, her name. When I was young, I didn't really care for the name Teresa Louise because I thought it was an old person's name. <laughs> But I still didn't want to be called Terry. Uh, maybe because my mom I thought was old, right? I don't know why. Okay, there's that one. And we'll do this one. Dragging that chair with me <laughs> under my legs. Tiffany Donnell. Oh, wow. Uh, was that one of your relatives? I would have never guessed it. You're right. Heather said hers is too easy. Dawn is Heather's. Good job, Amy. <laughs> Heather Dawn. Nita is Francis. Good job, Mary Jane. My aunt is Donna. My grandma is Neil. I'll be darned. And my other aunt Aunt is Donnell, so mine is all mixed of the three. Oh boy. Sue. Carissa Sue. That's pretty easy. Today, Tiffany is making random bag out of the peacock I embroidered. Oh, cool. Oh, Melissa doesn't have a middle name. Uh, Melina, somebody needs to guess hers. Oops. I know, I knew I was in trouble when they hollered out Teresa Louise <laughs> or called me by one of the other kids' names. That was, my dad was really good at that. I know Beth's daughter's name is Louise. I heard her say that the other day and I was like, oh, I was so glad to hear somebody use the name Louise.
I've been meaning to ask her um, if there was somebody in her family with that middle name. I told you guys this before, but um, us three girls were all had the same initials T L W. And then one of my mom's other one of my mom's sisters named her kids first name all the her girl T. But she did TM. Lisa's trying to guess what your middle name is. I'll see if anybody caught it yet. Well, maybe I'm not the only one that thinks that about their name when they're little. Lisa, there's a song with her name. I don't know what is Kathy's. Did she give us a hint? Oh, really, Shelly? That's weird. She said um, her dad's name was Richard, so they named her Rachel. But she's always been called Shelly. <laughs> That's weird. Huh. Kim said her name was supposed to be Kimberly, but... Mom's roommate chose that name for her girl, born just an hour before uh, Kim was. So, so she wound up with the name Kimla. She stole it from her. Donna said, mine is my grandmother's na uh, middle name. Grandmother's middle name, Faye. Maiden name. Sorry. Geez, I can't talk. Hi, Carrie. How are you doing? Hi, Becca. How are you? Hi, Sarah. How are you doing? Working on a panel. Do Hi, uh, Natalie. How are you? Yep, everything's good. We're doing the French door wall hanging. Larray was supposed to be Larry Jr. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, your dad changed yours.
Lisa had to argue with the teachers. They'd tell her that her name was spelled wrong um, until she got into the third grade. And then I guess they just stopped telling her it was spelled wrong. Oh, great. Courtney said she's made accomplishments on that elephant. Awesome. I can't wait to see it. Okay, I'm down at the bottom. Uh, did, I, did Becca say what she was up to today? Let me see if I can find her. And um, welcome to the live. Anybody that I missed saying hello to. Sorry about that. Well, what you up to today, Becca? Okay. Iron. That's where I'm at. Iron. I had to stand up for a minute. There's that one. All right, let's make sure I got these right. That one, that one, that one. That one, that one, okay. Also this one. I think I cut way too many strips, but that's okay. I can put them in my... Oh, you're just watching me? Oh, I think Brandon is making a grilled cheese sandwich. I can smell it. <laughs> that would be awesome if he brought me one. Oh no, she wants to sew, but her sew has got up and went. Well, that sucks. Maybe you should crochet. Or is that a dirty word now? Melissa's over techie stuff, so she's just doing mindless sewing. I love mindless, mindless sewing now and then. Uh-oh. See what I did? I wasn't supposed to put this on the outside. Hi, Jewel. So now I get to rip. Supposed to go on the inside. This is not a very good seam ripper. Hi Anne, how are you doing? Um, Nita, I've been crocheting. Too much trouble to set things up to sew. What have you been making? Hi, Zach. You're back. <laughs> oh, stuffed yellow peppers. That sounds good. I had to just throw that thing away. I don't know where that came from. I think it must have come with one of the sewing machines or something, but that's terrible. It's pretty dull. Um... That's better. Yeah, that's what I like to do too, Kim. Just do string and crumb blocks for mindless sewing. It's awesome. You guys didn't catch me make that mistake there. Bad viewers. <laughs> Why am I doing it like that? Should be going this way. 
Okay. Ann said, just got my True Cut Blade Sharpener. Um, I do have a blade sharpener. It, it never worked very good, so... But I don't know if it was a True Cut or not. I wish they would take the blades back. They probably do. Like, turn in 10 and get one free. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awesome? Or I had bean soup and cornbread. Ooh, that sounds very yummy. In fact, that sounds so yummy. I might make that. Ham, beans, and cornbread. I love bean soup too. It's awesome. I really do need a sliding mat over here. Wendy made a big pot of mustard greens. I've never had mustard greens. <laughs> Just plain old mustard greens? Then what? Just all by themselves like a soup? Are mustard greens kind of like spinach? Then you eat them all up. Ha ha ha, she said. Oh, your hubby's got some chicken on the grill, too. Okay, I just saw that. Becca switched to the computer. Says, maybe I can actually do something, even if it's just cleaning my room up. Yeah, there you go. That sounds like a good idea. I watched your video you posted today. I didn't have time to leave you a comment, but I was going to go go back and leave you one. But um, and I was going to tell you that the wall behind you is so distracting. <laughs> I kept looking at your all your fabric. Your fabric wall is very distracting. <laughs> it was hard to keep. Uh, my mind focused on your box opening. Let's see, is that going to be long enough? Yep, that's long enough. Are you sewing yet, Kay? Did you make it home yet? Oh, that sounds good, too. Heather's got um, hubby making a roast and baked potatoes. Oh, you're still not home. Okay. I don't think anybody's do making this with me and... I know there were people out there that wanted me to make it. <laughs> yeah, she keeps scaring everybody. Sometimes you don't see her and she opens and closes the door. I think she smells daddy ha eating lunch, so she's going to go down there. 
Hi, Gnome Gatto. How are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> That's okay. That's all right, Kay. You're still going to do it, you know. Maybe. Now, maybe. Maybe you won't. Oh, you're waiting to see how mine turns out. Okay. Mine is going to be awesome. Hi, Stephanie. Oh, Laura's laying down. She, she's not going to cut anything right now. This is going to be a wall hanging. I'm not sure how big it will be done when it's done. But I could tell you how big the panel was before I started. Let's see. What did I... It was 24 by 32. And just this part that I have. And I don't know what it, how big it's going to be till I'm done. Wendy doesn't have any panels. Yeah, good thing you know it's Willa opening the door. Somebody somewhere probably likes your house is hot. No, it's Willa. Oh, that sounds good. Um, Kim had a smoked sausage sandwich and salad for dinner. Okay, now I can sew these together. So I'll do that. Wish my screen was bigger. I need to tell you. Hi, Patricia. How are you doing? There are so many colors I would use for the frame. It's a Hoffman Fabrics Hoffman Digital Call of the Wild. Ooh, nice. Um, my wildlife ones, I'm going to do the um, attic, window attic, attic window, whatever. Then I was telling Kay that I thought it would be really cool to do the attic window panel in a wildlife scene and then turn them into um, curtains. I think that would look cool. Make sure I have it turned the right way before I iron it. No big deal. I'm just going to go ahead and sew the other one on. Okay. Colleen said that's what she thinks. She might do with hers. We're going to make Roman shades, says Kay. <laughs> yeah. You enjoyed your stuffed peppers? I bet. I like yellow stuffed peppers. They're a little more mild. 
than the green ones. Go ahead and keep sewing these. Bye, June. Have a nice supper with your sister. That would be awesome. She's been trying to behave, Stephanie. I saw the elk out in the field <clears throat> this morning. They were bumming hay. <laughs> They've been gone for a little while because most of the snow is gone. But when the snow came back, here they came. Picking on the horses, trying to get the hay. I kind of swivered right there. How's that going to look? Oh, that'll be alright. Okay, this one. This really is going to be. What are you working on today, Natalie? Doing cross stitch? Oh, when does Willa's back? Hi, Willa. I see Daddy didn't bring me a sandwich. I should tie a note on you and have you go down there. Tell him Mom is hungry too. Just slipped off there. No, it's all right. Okay, that row's done. I'll do this one. I need to plant my tomato plants and pepper plants. I planted this by seed. May 10th is the last free, uh, frost date. I would like to have a garden this year too. Oh, that's true, Susan. Susan said Willa probably ate it before she got back up here. <laughs> It was mine. It was supposed to be mine. I'm sure she did. Especially if it wasn't in a baggie or something. It doesn't do too good. Flip it over. Oh, I know. That's why it's making me hungry too, Carissa. <laughs> We always end up talking about food sometime. A chicken subway, huh? That sounds good. I'm 
things on. One more. Uh-oh, Colleen just noticed that she can put mo other moderators in time out. <laughs> Who do you want to put in time out? You can? I didn't know you could. Can you delete them? I don't think you can delete them. Last one, now I can iron. The wh white strips are one inch unfinished, so after you sew on both sides, you're going to have a half an inch on the inside. Thank you, Kay. Thank you, Larray. I know, Wendy. Colleen put Wendy in timeout and claimed it was an accident. <laughs> okay, Ann, thanks for stopping in. So glad you could hang out for a while. Yes, I'm going to frame it around the outside. Um, the one that Donna Jordan does on her YouTube, which is where I got this idea, she just does a one inch strip all the way around the outside, but I'm going to do a three inch, I think. Maybe a two. I've already got the three inches cut, so. <laughs> Windy snitches. Need I say more? Um, Patricia said, I watch your old YouTubes because that's when I see, but I miss having someone to talk to at the time. I worked nights for 20 years. Ugh. And it's hard to fix old habits. Oh, I would, I would not like, I've had to work a few night shifts and I never did like them. Well, thank you, Patricia. We all appreciate it. Okay, I'm going to go up here real quick. Let's see if there was something I need I missed. First, I'm just going to look for my name. My highlighted name. Okay, I saw that one already. We're not going to read all the food things because you guys are making me hungry. Oh, it probably could. Might look nice, Stephanie says. I have one panel about 15 years ago. <laughs> It's a stained glass looking one. I wonder if that would work. It might, yeah. The fabric patch has several really neat patterns for panels. Great. Thank you, Amy. Appreciate that. I'll have to check them out. Okay, 
think I'm back almost down to the bottom. Okay, Melissa says, nope, mods cannot put their, put other mods in timeout. We can report and block them or go to their channel. Okay, good to know. Let's see what I can do. I can go to your channel. I can pin your message. I could report you. I could remove you. I could put you in timeout. I could hide you from the channel, or I could remove you as moderator. I have a lot of choices. <laughs> Which one should I do? Natalie said, there should be only one moderator. <laughs> Why do you say that, Natalie? Because um, the one moderator isn't always here. A little hard to iron when it's so small. I'm pressing the seams to the dark. Otherwise, it's too small to press into the white. It wants to go into the white. I'm just going to press it from the front real quick and make sure I don't have any tucks. <laughs> Natalie said if they can't dedicate their time show up to the lives then they don't be a moderator laugh out loud well they don't get paid they're doing it as a favor hi beverly how are you doing we're doing a panel another panel quilt Oh, the other day I had a lot of trolls on here. Yeah, they come in pairs, don't they? They make it really difficult. No, thank you, Colleen. Yeah, so definitely got to press them to the dark, press them open that way, like that. There's just not enough room to press them in, even though they do want to go in. And usually I don't use starch, but I'm kind of wanting to use starch on this. ironed
bring you over here so I can see. Lisa said, you guys are hilarious. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen, for posting that link. Yeah, I tried to do that too. I think it's something on, um, Laura said that Stephanie and Yvette changed their settings so that only subscribers can chat. And I looked all through the settings on the YouTube thing and I couldn't find anything on there that said I could do that. So I wonder if it's the software they're using, uh, Zoom. I think that allows you to do that but I don't know I'm gonna have to look again or have my friend Becca help me And then there are some people that just like to keep causing trouble. Got to watch out for those kind of people, too. Yeah, it's pretty hard to iron these little one inch one inches but it's doable Okay, how's everybody doing? Hanging in there? Yep, that's true, Becca. That, that's where I was at, Becca, on YouTube Studio. It's on the video settings. Okay, I'll look at it again. Yeah, and it doesn't get rid of the trolls completely. Because, you know, or the troublemakers. <laughs> Tiffany's sewing something dumb. <laughs> um, well, that's what I was wondering. Becca said, Teresa, you have to look at the live stream video that you have scheduled. And it's in the details. Okay. That's what I was wondering. That's not where I was at when I was trying to do it. I'll, I'll check it out. So it's, uh, so you have to do it every time you schedule 
alive. Yes, the pot stewers, those people, like what happened yesterday. It should be a channel setting. I agree. Um, okay. But that's okay, Melissa. I'm going to take care of that. Okay. Now we do a strip down the middle of each one of these. middle one there and one there and one there so I'm going to cut the selfie jaw oh she did no there's no trolls here Becca that I know of You just ate a bunch of potato soup. That sounds good. Hi, Janet. How are you doing? How's everything in Australia? I don't think, was it yesterday's that we had all the trolls, or was it a different one? I don't remember. I did so many lives this week, I can't keep track. Okay, ready to go. A cold Monday morning. Yeah, well, I have snow. <laughs> unexpected hi D how you doing you're just unpacking from your retreat how was the retreat did you have fun okay do you want me to do that now Becca or after I'm done with my live. <laughs> Hi, Dorlin. Dorlin just woke up from a nap. Oh, well, darn it. You can always watch the replay. It's that doggy panel that I showed you all a couple of days ago. Oh, right. That's right. I remember now, Colleen. Um, well, I haven't seen any trolls on here today, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yes, it, uh, Dawn, it is a lionfish on my shirt. Yep. Sure is. Very colorful one. No, Colleen, I can't. I cannot do links and sew at the same time. Hi, Nancy. How are you doing? Thank you for sending those two back. I appreciate that. Oh, 
Oh, thanks, Beverly. She said she uh, posted some pictures on the uh, in the Facebook of her bandana quilt. I'll have to check those out. I'm making sure that my seams are facing out each time I approach the needle. So they stay to the dark side. I don't want them to get flipped in there. Slipping off of that. Dang it. I think it's time for me to take my sewing machine in and have it surf, uh, serviced. I think the timing or something is going on. Another good reason to pin. Maybe do I have that? No, I don't have it too tight. I should tighten it down a little bit. I just tried tighten, tightening the foot down a little bit more so I have a little more pressure. That might keep it there better. Oh wow, Melissa said hubby hit the goodwill today and brought her home a sewing book from 1974. Wow. Yeah, Becca does have the cool link bot thing. Well, that's why I'm thinking about um, doing Streamlabs, but We'll see. Marla said, um, so Becca, I wore all three shirts that I ordered from you at the retreat last weekend. Everyone liked them and I sent them your way. Awesome. Thank you. Oh, yeah, or re that's a good idea. Oh, I don't think it's, it hasn't been that long since I cleaned underneath it. It shouldn't have that much stuff in there, but I'll check it out because I do that at least once a month. Okay, now I'll cut that off, and I'm going to go ahead and press it before I sew it to the other side. I think that might make it a little easier. The doggy is just snoring away. I'm surprised you guys can't hear her. Ooh, that baby's hot. 
Okay. That was the bottom. The one is mixed up. Okay, I'll cut this one. Another strip. And then we're almost done with this part of the project. We, like you guys have even helped. <laughs> this one goes here. Go ahead and sew it on. Let that other one cool off. I always feel like I'm getting on a horse when I <laughs> sit down on this chair. Yeah, that's true, Kay. She said our port is a big help. That's true. Okay, here we go. I decided to pin a little bit here and there. Okay, let's make sure my seams are where I want them to be. Before I go any further, and I'm just going to pin again. Wendy, uh, Linda usually watches a lot of videos, but she doesn't comment. I used to do that too. Just sit and watch, not comment. Hi, Remo. How you doing? I didn't see you come in, but I see other people saying hi to you, and so that alerted me to that. Oops, sorry. Probably pretty loud. Okay, check the next seam. That is working better now that I tighten that foot down a little bit. Uh-oh, what happened with Courtney? I was going to show that, Kay. Thank you. We're not to that point yet. Yeah, I thought that was pretty slick. But that's basically how I do it. Oh, you're in back pain, Colleen? If you need to go, honey, go. You don't have to stay. Oh, Courtney has back pain. Oh, I'm sorry, Courtney. I hope you feel better, hon. I know what it feels like. Okay, Don. Take care. Tiffany's on at 5 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Yeah, it is pretty cool, Natalie. Oh. <laughs> no, it wasn't uh, Colleen. It was uh, Courtney that has the back pain. <laughs> My mistake. 
Ooh, prime rib. That sounds good. Melissa just had some fried chicken. You guys are still going to make me hungry, aren't you? You're welcome, sweetheart. <laughs> okay. Now this middle one, this long middle strip, I am just pressing that uh, fabric over. So it's going into the white. So I'm pressing to the white. The reason why I'm doing that is if I go to the dark, these seams are gonna be too bulky. Um, and I don't want them that bulky. And um, after I sew, the other panel on down here and press it the same way you're not going to be able to tell because they're going to be touching each other okay so here's the tricky part is lining up your lining these up and I'm not going to be able to show you very well but Donna Jordan gets really close let me bring this up a little bit Okay, so what I do um, is follow my fold this top one over and just follow my lines there. Or the other thing I used to do, which is also really handy, is you could do um, line up your ruler and make lines there with your friction pin or your um, but I don't see my friction pin anywhere. It must be downstairs. You could draw your lines there, and that way you can see them as you're rolling this forward. But we're just going to hope for the best. So you go forward like this. Make sure that's straightened out there. And you can also fill your seams underneath here. Make sure you're lined up, and then you can roll that back like this until that your seam, your seams right here are lined up. And then I would definitely pin this. If you want to see that closer, I'd go watch the Donna Jordan's video. She gets real close. So let's just do that one more time. So first I'm just going to make sure I'm lined up. Looks like I need to be over just a little bit. And line that end up. And then roll this back. And I can see where my stitches are on the other side here. And then I'm lined up. So I'm going to go ahead and Pin that. But if you have a friction pin, that works pretty good too. If you want to put it in the white fabric. Then I'm going to line up this edge. Put a pin in that. Then I'll do the same thing with this one. Okay, and now I can sew it. Okay, camera's coming up. And camera's going back. What time is it? Oh, it's after 4 o'clock.
Oh, you guys are all talking about food still. Well, imagine that. <laughs> Thank you, Colleen, for adding channels. Oh, that sounds good, Janet. She's just having her breakfast. Hi, Dawn. How are you doing? Oh, you got to go skip. Okay, Tiffany. Yeah, you better go do that. Yeah, Donna Jordan has a cameraman. That's one thing that definitely helps. What is everybody else working on tonight? Janice would like uh, Janet would like to know. Yeah, I like hummus ground up in a dip. That's the only way I like it. <laughs> Ninety seven watching. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> um yeah, thank you very much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Click that bell so you get notified. <laughs> all those things. Do all the things. Thank you for posting all those, um, Colleen. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and Take a little break. You guys just, I was going to stop at four o'clock, but I think I'll keep going, but I need to take a little break for a second and then I'll be right back. Okay. And, um, you know, you guys just keep talking and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Did you miss me? <laughs> Thank you for the small intermission. I think I better have a piece of licorice. guys are made me hungry okay Tiffany's back too awesome <laughs> oh you're finally getting started awesome Kay Glad you finally made it home. I cannot wait to see yours. You guys wait till you see Kay's. She's using a beautiful panel of some doves.
Ooh, burr, that's cold. Burr. I don't like the cold either. We had snow. I've said this several times, but I'll say it one more time. Three inches this morning. What the heck? Something happened there. Start over. Huh. That was weird. Okay. That was really weird. Okay, Tiffany. Have fun. <laughs> okay, coming up to my seam here. Hold it down. Amy has one more row to sew on but my dog just came in and informed me that it was dinner time. I better hop to it before my cat looks at the clock. <laughs> I'll be in trouble if I'm late feeding the cat. Yeah, you don't want to make the cat mad. <laughs> better go feed him, Amy. Stephanie's working on her cotton cuts puzzle, puzzle mystery bot, um, block quilt. This um, white fabric wants to bulge out of there. Let's see if I can get it, slide it back in there. I want it nice and straight. Okay, coming to my seams again. Get my pins out of there. Okay, Beverly has two panels that she's done. She'll post it on Facebook. We would love to see them. I'm just going to make sure this is lined up. I know it takes time, it slows you down when you pin, but sometimes you just got to pin. Okay, that looks all right. I'm going to go ahead and press it. Wendy pins everything. Remo is working on Sugary Dew Quilt Along 4SG Making a Dress for Easter Making a Quilt for My Mom Baby Sister My Other Auntie Doesn't Like Quilts Her Loss Okay, Be Beverly, go fix supper. Thank you. Dora Lynn is working on a charity quilt for the Children's Hospital through the Quilting Club. Theme is cats and dogs. Oh, cool. Janet said, while well, she's gone. I think I need another coffee. <laughs> Lois got one Limon star done and so far so good on the seams. 
Awesome, that's great. Lisa's cutting fabric. Kim is doing her imitation of a couch potato. <laughs> Brenda is binding a quill, sewing my four star general. Boy, will that ever be done! <laughs> Kathy is working on her pineapple blocks. Wendy is working on holding down a chair that she's sitting in. <laughs> Okay, I think I looked at all those. All right. Okay. The last one I see is Colleen posting Ellen's channel. She must have a list of them. <laughs> Colleen is super good at posting channels and links to things, so, and I really appreciate that. Well, they lined up pretty good. Yeah, they lined up really good, I think. Pretty good, huh? Okay, make sure I have this turned the right way. Now I can do the other side. need my pins. <laughs> Scroll that down so I don't lose my place. That looks right. Probably didn't really need to pin it twice on there, but that's all right. I'm going to anyway. I'm going to put a few more in this time. You guys really can't even see what I'm doing, but... Looks right. Feels right. And it looks right. Okay. Go ahead and pin it. I like these to line up. You know, I really do because um, it really makes everything look off if, especially when they're that small. Okay, that one is ready to sew. Here we go. Shouldn't be too much longer if I quit reading the chat.
Yeah, it helps to pin, that's for sure, especially on certain things. Thank you, Janet. Thank you, Colleen. <laughs> Becca said, okay, my shelves are starting to look better, but now my desk looks a mess. <laughs> Colleen said it's top secret. She means about her top secret list. Okay. She's got to have something there because she's so quick at it. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you, JB. Thank you, Don. Ooh, that sounds good, Remo. I have a whole bunch of broccoli. That's the other thing I was thinking about making was broccoli cheese soup. I have to ask my hubby if he <laughs> wouldn't mind eating that. I don't know. He might not. I got a ton of broccoli in there, though. Okay, Remo. Thank you. Thanks so much for coming. I appreciate it. I should have introduced you to Dawn. I didn't realize you guys didn't know her. Sorry about that. Or you didn't know her name anyway. Wendy said, chicken just came in off the grill. Have a great evening, everyone. You too, Wendy. Thank you. Okay, Beverly, go eat. Thanks for stopping in. Heather said, glad to see you're still on. I had to bathe a kid that drown, drowsed herself in milk. Oh, well, there's worse things than milk. <laughs> okay, now I can um, iron this one. I'm hope, um, Dawn says, my quilt project I'm hoping to get a few more subscribers, which will afford me the info bar video. Um, Memoirs of a long arm quilter is Stephanie. Thank you, Camille. That's right, Natalie. That's where I got it. The Donna Jordan has a video using this pattern. Um, yep. Thank you for reminding everybody.
Okay, I'm going to go iron this so you guys can see what it looks like. Yeah, looks like those lined up pretty good, too. Okay. Here's what it looks like so far. Pretty cute, huh? Okay, um, and I'm pretty sure it's in the description box, but um, this is a, a free pattern from Donna Jordan of Jordan Fabrics. So you can go, you want to see how Donna does it. It's called um, Donna's French Door pattern. Um, you can watch her video too. She gets a little closer on you how to bring those together if you need to see that. I don't have a second camera, so there's that. Um, I'm going to do mine a little different than Donna's, so the next thing I'm going to do now, you see this over here? That's the top part of this panel. Um, and so I got to put that on yet too. So, I'll bring you a little closer. Hold on. There you go. Kind of see it a little better. So, I'm going to put, I think I'm going to do two inch strips here instead of three. But Donna does one inch all the way around. And then, um, then she does a scrappy border all the way around it. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do this either two or three inch. Um, let's see what it looks like with three inch. And then I'm going to do a red, a bright red binding. I don't have my red fabric over here, and you can't really, well, you can kind of see the white. And then there'll be white on the top right here, too. And then I'm going to incorporate this top piece into here. Um, I wanted it, I didn't want to cut this because then you wouldn't have been able to see the words. Right? And I didn't want to cut through any of the dogs or anything on this. And I thought, well, if I just cut this out and then put it back on all together, it's like a sign over the door. And since this is French door pattern, this is the sign over the door. Get it? And I feel like a French door, the molding around the door is usually bigger than one inch. So that's why I'm going to do um, 
a three inch. So, and to me, this looks more like a window, you know, a French window maybe. Because <laughs> it's small, right? So, I'll put you back a little bit. Sorry about that, you guys. I should have a, like a, get a camera that goes zoom in and zoom out, right? Okay, I'm going to sit down a second, eat a couple of more licorices, see what you're all saying. Um, thank you, Dawn. She said, I like where this is going, Therese Louise. Yep, Tiffy will be on in 30 minutes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Amy. Thanks, Tracy. Oh, good, Kathy. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. You love my top with cotton all over it? <laughs> yes, I did see Mom and Pop's U-corn panel. I really, I want to do that one too. It's on my list. I got to find the right panel for that though. Um, so I have some really cool animal panels. and But I don't want to, you know, chop into the face or anything like that. I'm doing the attic window panel next, Colleen. Thank you, Barbara. Thank you, JB. Thanks, Shelly. Thanks, Laura. Oh, thank you, uh, Colleen, for le leaking all that stuff. Thank you, Patty. Thank you, Camille. Thank you, Kim. Thanks. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I know. Kay said, I see what you mean about pressing. Hey, do you get the sew sampler box in one of those boxes that came with those silicone fingers? I forgot to get them out. <laughs> well, it's better that you enjoy your husband while he's there, Janet. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go back down to the bottom, I think. Yeah, kitchen window. There you go. Cookie dough. Yes, raw. <laughs> I haven't had that since I was a kid. Get your button gear, Tiffany. Oh, you lost a little bit of the peak, but not too bad. That was K. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you, Patricia. Thank you, Vivian. Okay, Eva, thank you. Yeah, watch the replay. Or if you want a really fast video, watch Donna. But like I said, I'm doing mine different than Donna. This part, this first part is like her, but the rest isn't going to be like hers. Uh, 
Okay. Uh, now wait a minute. What is Becca giving away? <laughs> no, no, Becca. If you're giving away Christmas morning, you better not. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you just want the clutter gone. Yeah, it would make a nice baby quilt. You can't say you're giving away fabric on this channel because <laughs> everybody will swarm you. Uh, uh, what fat quarters, Becca? <laughs> All right. Thank you, Marla. Okay, I'm going to, let's see. Also for a few more minutes, I'm going to go ahead and sew those um, strips on to the side. And I'm going to cut off the salvage off this. And I'm going to do both long sides first, and then I'll do the bottom and the top. Might as well get them sewn on, then we can really see. I will have to make some adjustments to the sign because now it's smaller than this uh, quilt because I added the one inch strips in there. So I'll have to go around probably with some one inch strips or something. I, I don't know, I'll have to figure it out. Um, I just thought of something. Do I want to go around the sign with white? I don't think so. I think I just want to go around the window with white. So I might have to go around the sign with brown find a brown that matches because I just need to make that sign a little bit bigger so that it'll match this oh gee whiz Marla said she had a coyote in the yard thank you Zach back uh, just to make sure I got this right Patty G is getting the scraps Kathy and Colleen are getting a mystery fat quarter bundle and I'm just sending something else to Teresa because I can <laughs> no Becca you don't have to send me anything honey I have plenty of fabric but that is so nice of you to do a giveaway on my channel. <laughs> Gee whiz. See, you better show up. You never know what's going to happen here. Hi, Shirley. How are you doing? Yep, better late than never. That's right. Oh, I should have squared this panel up first before I did this. Oh well. It'll work. 
I'll make it work. Make sure my seams are going the right way. Okay, Don, I'll see you later. Better go get your battery charged. Can't have a dead phone. Thank you, Colleen. Oh, she just deleted it. Okay, yeah, I'll look. Uh, okay, hold on. I have to enlarge that. Uh oh, they're not quite lined up, <laughs> but I it's close enough. Oh, you got his. Got his beak. That is going to be so pretty. How did you get so far ahead done when you just got home? Well, I would say that's totally up to you. If it was me, I would redo it. But... I'm anal that way. I I like things to visually line up, like even in, in my living room, <laughs> you know, my couch. Things have to be, yeah, I'm just kind of weird that way. And um, where you use really dark fabric, I th but it's up to you. Maybe it won't be all that noticeable. You're not off by that much. Um, well, to be completely honest, <laughs> you better go get Jack. <laughs> there. Was that brutal enough for you? <laughs> I think it's a little more noticeable because it's a uh, darker gray. Okay, that one's on. But it's your project, too, you know. I don't want to make you feel bad. If it doesn't bother you, then don't. And once you quilt it, you probably won't even notice. Okay, so there's that. There's that side. Just got to press that down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start winding down here. <laughs> if I can get my chair under me. Oh, my back. It's, my back is saying it's done, you guys. So, um, Tiffany over at Tiffany's Quilting Life comes on at 5 o'clock tonight. So, um, Colleen has put her... Um, channel link in there several times and I think most of you already know her already so um, Judy said cleaning up the sewing room and found blocks from 31 years ago oh my goodness <laughs> yeah. yeah you never know what's hiding so let's go ahead and start winding down and We'll finish this up next Sunday. 
and I'll actually probably get it done before then, but next Sunday we will quilt our projects, okay? But of course you're welcome to come and visit and maybe pick up some tips about quilting, free motion quilting. I'm going to do it on the domestic machine. I know, crazy. But I'm doing it for you. <laughs> Otherwise, it'd go on the long arm. <laughs> I hope I can do it. It's been so long. <laughs> okay, Colleen. All right. Good deal, Tiffany. I know I should, Colleen. What I need to do is um, lay down. It doesn't. I don't think it's going to matter. Brenda said that's what I need to know how to quilt the panels. And well, that and that's going to be different for every panel. Um, because the way I quilt this one might not be the way you're going to want to quilt yours. Um, so <laughs> there is that. Because this is just a little happy doggy thing, you know, I might just do an all over free motion thing. If it was like something that um, Kay is making right now, I would custom quilt that baby to death. Because that is going to be really pretty. And um, it wouldn't have just little meander. Bye, Patricia. I'll see you later. Um, I have um, tar lobe cysts in my lower back. And I'm supposed to lay down for 10 minutes every hour. And what happens is the more I stand up or sit, the more the cysts in my sacrum fills up with spinal fluid. It gives me a headache and um, it makes my back ache back there. And there's really nothing much I can do about it because it's like deep down inside ache. Um, so I just have to go lay down and I do put the heating pad on. And so that's kind of, besides the ruptured disc that I have back there on L4 and 5, um, that's what I have going on with the sacrum. So, just so you know. Brenda says she just does the same old thing on everything. It's boring. <laughs> okay, so I'll see you guys all later. Thank you so much for joining me. Um... Yeah, if you, you know, want to check this quilt out, like I said earlier, go check it out over on uh, Donna and Jordan's too and see how she put hers together. You might want to do exactly what she did because, like I said, she's doing a scrappy border. It may be by next Sunday I will have changed my mind and want to make this a, a quilt, a, like a lap quilt. Let's take a bet. Let's bet on that. Be thinking about it. And next Sunday, I won't have it hanging up. We'll take a bet. Um, what do you What do you think Teresa did? Leave it a wall hanging or turn it into a quilt? <laughs> you can't You can't guess yet, Melissa. <laughs> Everybody's already guessing lap quilt. <laughs> mm hmm Okay. You guys take care. Be sure and subscribe. Hit that bell. Um, head on over to the Facebook group if you're not there yet. The link is below the video here. Um, also, I have... Uh, other things in the description box links to my other friends so you can go check them out and um, what else share the video share the video because when I get 
I'm not sure how many subscribers, but one of these times I'm going to be doing a quilt giveaway. So we need to start sharing the video. Thank you, Nita. I appreciate it. All right. I'm going to head out now, you guys. Say goodbye. <laughs> it was great having you here with me today. I really appreciate your time. Okay. Go make something and have fun, all right? Bye. Love you guys.